comfort. Yeah, because life should be a comfortable experience. You know, people talk about, oh, if you want to succeed and stuff, get outside your comfort zone. I've been outside my comfort zone for years. Um, so it's time for me to start being comfortable. And I want to, I want in my comfort zone is what I want. I want to, I want to be comfortable and I want to be, I want to, I want to feel like I'm not just surviving anymore. I've been outside of my comfort zone. I don't like it there. I want to be comfortable. Makes me nervous to post this video because, uh, I could be, um, scoffed at or laughed at or stuff like that, <laughs> but that's what the Romans do. Um, and, um, that's what. As far as I can tell, everybody is in the United States is, uh, um, well, not everybody, but, you know, it's a, it's a Roman state. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and post this video because has to be done sometime, right? Sometime everybody has to say, you know, this is who I am, and or this is what I am, right? <laughs> and this is what I am. A savior looking for. <laughs> A God of love looking for, uh, looking free from ruin. This is a video. Uh, today I'm going to plant a bunch of flowers and, and fruits and vegetables. And, you know, I planted some over there, but I thought, you know, I shouldn't just plant them just in planters because then people think, you know, you're supposed to keep things too separated or something. I feel like I'm just going to plant a bunch of different flowers and fruits and vegetables just in different kind of places I'm gonna try and do it somewhere I'm kind of designing it <laughs> but you know um, and uh, so I got uh, today and tomorrow um, then my phone is turned off unless something uh, <laughs> really kind of very neat happens <laughs> um, uh, of course so this is how um, Next time I have some money, because <laughs> I can't figure out how to live free. <laughs> um, next time I have some money, um, what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is pay for the phone so I can keep making videos. Um, the next thing I'm going to do after that um, is, is put tires on the car. Because um, I need to have tires on the car. After that comes food, because I can't... I can't the only way that I can leave here driving this car really so much is if, and I'm, I'm saying this the best way that I know how to say it, is that um, if I'm going to, if I have the money or the ability to go get some tires, um, I'm not going to say just the ability because someone say, oh well, you have the ability, you just don't, hey, you don't know what it is, so ha, uh, too bad for you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying simply this: is that I have to be going to get tires. I have to get tires on the car if I leave here driving that car and um, so uh, phone tires I don't know if you can see that but I guess that you can that's the that's the tire and uh, Um, food, you know. A girl would be great if that happens first. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna plant some flowers and stuff. I was trying to think of something, you know, maybe I could build something that, like a, uh, a swing or, you know, just something that, I don't know. Be sure. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe and go to www.myfavoritechannel.weebly.com. I get to about a, a thousand bucks uh, on PE. <laughs> uh, uh, a thousand dollars. <laughs> Love you.
you know what I, you know what I was thinking? I, I thought, you know, um, maybe what I should do, may, maybe what I should do, is um, say that uh, actually uh, food isn't going to be the maybe the third thing that I get. I might get something just to, I don't know. I might get something to satisfy a craving or something like that, but. Um, yeah, I was thinking about homeless people, right? And, and how people are, are, are happy to feed homeless people, uh, but after they fed homeless people, they, they feel like their work is done. Yeah, and I thought, you know, and, and it's partially, maybe it's partially on the for people that are homeless. We're saying, you know, if that's all you're going to do is just feed me, then I'd rather not eat because, um, you know, um, I was homeless once because um, I volunteer work. I, and I guess that's what it is, right? You volunteer when you, when you don't, when you work for, for no pay. Um, but I worked at a uh, thrift shop. And um, um, so I ended up being, so I, so I was homeless because they weren't paying me. And I was, I was working every day. It was supposed to be a charity thrift shop. <laughs> the guy that owned the place would come in with a stack of money like this in his pocket every day. <laughs> Anyways, and then he paid people like 60 bucks to work. <laughs> so, so, but he didn't pay me. Anyways, um, I gave, I actually, one day I did ask him if he had 20 bucks, and he gave me 20 bucks. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe he gave me a few bucks extra than 20 bucks, but I can't, I can't remember. Anyways, um, you know, Mike Camper, uh, you know, I was sitting there thinking, well, what good is it? Okay, so during the during this past evening, I was it was cold, right? And I, the only way that I could stay warm was actually to either uh, be in the car with the car running and have that be the, the generator, <laughs> um, or to be under the covers in, in 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 the camper. In other words, I couldn't be up, you know work or just sit around being comfortable, uh, read a book, you know, edit videos, you know, I couldn't do any of that. And uh, so I was just, uh, I thought, uh, maybe what I should do is say, you know, um, first thing I have to have, uh, be able to do is I have to be able to pay the phone, and I have to uh, get tires on the car. Um, it'd be nice if I could do both of them at the same time. My wives and kids, they don't call me. And um, somebody else doesn't call me. Of course, I can't say much about that because I haven't called her. But, well, I called her once. But, um, I had a dream last night. My brother was in my dream last night and he texted me a um, nice video. <laughs> it's my brother, Dan. Dan, I love you very much, man. I'm sorry I haven't talked to you. My anxiety is just. I don't know how to say it, man. Stress level is just, you know. But um, I'm, I'm not stressing anymore because if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And if, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm scared to die in, in a violent way, um, you know, government's way. But um, I'm not scared to just die anymore. So if, I, if, if things don't happen and I don't get to actually live a happy version of my life, I'm okay. Um, the uh, tires, phone, and then food. And then I was like thinking, man, Sandy, maybe you should, maybe you should, like, like say, you know, hey, you know, I need a nice place to live too. Um, and I do. I need a, I need a new canvas on that thing at the very minimum. I need a generator, and I need a little mini refrigerator. And that's, you know, and, and um, because that's true. What use is there to have a full stomach if you can lay there, um, have to stay under the cover shivering, uh, to keep from shivering um, because it's cold. So I don't, I don't feel like I, that's something that I necessarily want to do either. It's supposed to warm up, um, but I don't know. The weather is always funny. Um, but, uh, and you know, during summertime, uh, I'm gonna need an air conditioner. And at first I was like, you know, hey, why are you worried about an air conditioner? It's not even summertime yet. 
but I would, you know, uh, because because I ought to be worried about my my um, comfort. Yeah, because life should be a comfortable experience. You know, people talk about, oh, if you want to succeed and stuff, get outside your comfort zone. I've been outside my comfort zone for years. Um, so it's time for me to start being comfortable. And I want to, I want in my comfort zone is what I want. I want to, I want to be comfortable. And I want to be, I want to, I want to feel like I'm not just surviving anymore. I've been outside of my comfort zone. I don't like it there. I want to be comfortable. And so, uh, yeah, um, uh, the other day when I was working, it got hot. It was actually, it was a hot day. And, and so I was out there working. I was like, you know, oh, uh, and I didn't have any ice for the cooler or anything. And I really wanted something cold to drink. And all I had was this kind of not quite warm, but not cool water. <laughs> so, just you know it was I don't know I guess it was kind of cool but it was you know when it's when you're hot and working and stuff like that you know you feel like hey man I want something really cold to drink you know cold beer might have been good then too Uh, that's that's drone footage when you don't have a drone. <laughs> well, my camera stand uh, fell over that. I broke my that broke the phone mount. Uh, or the camera mount, whatever you want to call it. There it's, now I need a. Now I really need a girl. I need a, I need a phone holder. I need a camera holder. I need a girl. I make that joke every once in a while when I go to the drive-thru. They say, you need a drink holder? And I say, what's she look like? You need a camera holder? What's she look like? You know? Anyways, all right. So, these are, these are the ones I got. Uh, I got the tomatoes. And green beans and lettuce and zinnias and um, a bunch of flowers and stuff. Um, I want to get like other vegetables like. That's something that I need. I need a you know, drone and stuff like that. But, and uh, yeah, phone holder, girl. <laughs> um, and a gimbal, yeah. A gimbal would be very good. very much water left either. Uh, maybe three or four days if I um, if I'm careful. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I can't really go to go get can't really go to go get water um, 
unless I'm, I go to go get tires at the same time because I just don't know. I don't even know if that tire will make it there. I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm at, I end up having to use a little. gonna be something anyways uh, you know this part of just you know I got to do everything because I'm because I don't have <laughs> do everything myself <laughs> um, The age of Aquarius, right? A guy dumping water into the thing. That's what I was doing just now. I was just dumping some water in there. And what did they say? Age of Aquarius is supposed to be like the age of truth or <laughs> And the, the only truth that I can actually say to you, and you know, I wish it was a much better setting. Maybe I should. I haven't wanted to say this because I felt like, you know, if I said it, I was going to be sacrificing myself. Well, I'm not. I'm, I haven't been living the life that I. That, you, like to live of course then I said you know do I want to be the savior do I, you know do I, I wish that there was no need for that right I wish people would just love each other and do the <laughs> what they're supposed to do but um but that, that didn't you know because that's not because things haven't been that way I don't have any choice about being the savior only thing is People want a savior that has superpowers, and I don't have a, a nuclear arsenal. Neither do I want one. Um, although, I wouldn't mind being president, but boy, boy <laughs> I'd lead by example, and most people wouldn't be able to handle that, I think. Because, um, you know, for thousands of years, people have been fighting each other, and that hasn't worked hasn't brought people together and it hasn't made hasn't made heaven right and well it's made a war in heaven <laughs> um, but uh, uh, you know it'd be hard for an army to invade a country where um, everybody was standing outside with big signs and big hearts on it that said we love you come on in and have dinner you right <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, so I've got to. Um, I just, I guess, I got to just kind of just, you know, just say, you know, um, I think there's, I think there's several different gods. I think there's many different kinds of gods. Um, the god that most people really, truly want is, I think, a, a, the god of love, and that's me. Uh, that's me. I wish I could come flying out of the sky, but the only way I could really do that may be on Southwest Airlines. <laughs> it's kind of neat Southwest, right? They, they don't go dividing people and stuff like that, like a lot of the other airlines and stuff, you know. Everybody's kind of first class and they want everybody to have fun, you know. <laughs> Plus they got that great heart. <laughs> I know a lot of people are going to want to say, you know, you're not God, you're just crazy, right? Only a crazy person would say that they're God. Well, well then, then what are you going to say? What, then, then what are you saying, right? You're never going to, be, you're never going to accept God uh, because you're going to say God's crazy. Just like people said to Jesus, and, this, and I'm not saying all the Bible is true or, or any other scripture, you know. Most scriptures that I've read have some truth in them. And a bunch of garbage and a bunch of dumb stuff, and um, they keep people mixed up about what the idea, what God actually is. Um, but uh, uh, you know, they told Jesus Jesus was crazy. Most people, right? Now, uh, then, then in the Bible it says, you know, the the whole world was going to be, be deceived, even the very elect, right? And then, of course, now who gets elected, right? People in D.C., right? deceived right y'all everybody's been deceived by something um you know 
whether it was money, which is a religion, because you have to have faith in it. What does it say? What, how, do, how, how does money work at all? It, the only way that money works is if you have faith in it. Right? You have full faith and credit. You know, this, this uh, Federal Reserve note is backed by the full faith and credit of the, of the people of the United States. Or, you know, uh, it's, it's faith. It's a religion. Just like government is a religion. And religion is a government. That's why they want uh, um, people to obey and have, be obedient to them. Um, because it's not about being free, those. It's about freedom. They want. They say. They say it's a spoken word that they say. Freedom, freedom. All right. They spell it a different way, so you think, oh, that's not what you know. What they're saying. I know it sounds like freedom, but most people don't even think about it because they fool you with the casting a spell on you. Maybe I'm not supposed to use the word casting a spell because there was a girl in high school that that I really very have much loved all my life um, and my excuse to be able to go to her house when I first started going to her house every day was because she had broke her arm and somebody had to take her schoolwork to her at home and um, so I got to be the guy to do that and then we became best friends and said, well, anyway, this is a story maybe <laughs> but um, and so y'all dumb too is another thing. Not y'all, not y'all, but but uh, the people that, that um, put the Bible together for you, the government, right? And if you think the government didn't give, uh, the government gave you the Bible, why'd they do that? I mean, Emperor Constantine did it. You know, it was a, a Roman thing. You know, Rome didn't fall. Just look at the, you know, look at um, state capitol buildings and look at the, you know, Washington, D.C. Rome just, just, just got a new location, that's all. Um, and, and, y you know, here I am again in, 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 in Rome and, you know, most of y'all, most of y'all the Romans and what are you going to do? You're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to reject me? Why? Because my ways aren't your ways? But lots of my ways are, right? Because all, all y'all have a heart, right? That one, and, and you can use it. And you, and you can use it and say, um, is this guy being truthful and honest with us? Could this actually be God? Is that maybe why they crucified God? Is because he wasn't able to stop them? Because is it because God wants to, to take a physical body just like everybody else? Because I like to have hugs. And why would you... Why would anybody think that, that God would be the only God that he wouldn't want a wife? You know, that he's all by himself, right? Does anybody enjoy being single for years and years? How about an eternity? Would you enjoy being single for an eternity? No. Come on. Have a little... Have, so, have a little heart. <laughs> So there's a girl that's uh, been texting me. And she sent me a she sent me a really cute emoji. Emoji. And I looked up what that emoji is, and I was like, I don't. I'm. I very much like that she sent me the emoji, but at the same time, I want a girl that's available. And maybe she is available, but um, if she presents herself as not available. Um, and that's the only representation of her that I actually have is that she's not available. She's, then, you know, what do I do about that? <laughs> um, anyways, may not matter much anyways because <laughs> I got, uh, you know, you know, I got. It's funny, the things I mention when I say I need to go to the store and get stuff, the exact things that I talk about um, are not there when I get there, you know. If I say I need ramen noodles, ramen noodles isn't there. If I say I need bread, there was, I said the other day, I told some folks the other day, I said, I, yeah, I need, I, there's two types of, types of bread that I get when I'm at Walmart. I went to Walmart like a day or two later, 
and all the, 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 the bread shelves were all, there was bread on every, there was bread everywhere, except the exact two types of bread that I mentioned. There was every other bread there. <laughs> And then I mentioned ramen noodles the other day, and then I go to the store, and there's no ramen noodles at like three different stores. <laughs> uh, anyways, it may, it may not matter much, anyways, because I, I, I get, you know, I, I think I can go. I think maybe four or five days or something like that. Um, food, water. I might be able to get the water to do four or five days. I'll have to be whoo. Uh, I have to make sure I don't sweat and take like one or two showers of shit in the next four or five days. After that, it's not going to matter much because um, I don't have, uh, you know, I, I, I got to get tires on the car and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, God needs to get tires on this car. <laughs> God needs food and clothes and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can like it or not, but. Maybe this evening I'll uh, talk to you about some of the things that government and religion have done um, to make you think the wrong things. <laughs> Today I just kind of, you know, I planted a bunch of uh, seeds and stuff and then um, I've been doing some organizing and stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> but I guess because I like to have a place kind of like, you know, clean and stuff like that. But. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking, well, if they're going to find me dead, you know, <laughs> from starvation and, and not being able to go, you know, <laughs> that at least it'll look like, well, at least the guy was clean. Yeah. <laughs> During the day while I was doing things, you know, I was sitting there, you know, what can I, you know, what would actually, what can I do that would motivate people to actually have faith, right? I mean, what, what are you going to do to have faith that, 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 you know, I don't, I don't like to call myself the savior, although, I mean, I'd like to, that's a thing that I would like to do, um, but not, I mean, not in some religious way where people worship me, just to get here, just to have y'all think about each other is to <laughs> have y'all, <laughs> to so that everybody thinks about everybody is actually the human family. <laughs> the other day I sent some guys at uh, a stop sign and they were holding a sign for, for, uh, for money and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do some stuff and then, you know, I'll go back and, look. and I thought, you know, well, maybe I'll go to the store and then get, get something and give it to them, but then I was like, well, that takes away their, their, that takes away their, them being free to get what they want instead of me deciding what I'm going to get them. So I said, you know, I'll, I'll do my stuff and then I'll go back there. Of course, they, they weren't there when I got there, but um, of course, that's always how that, you know, anyways. Uh, but, um, you know, if, 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 you're, if your husband, wife, uh, best friend or something, you found out that they were homeless living on the street, what would you do? I mean, you go, you know, what if you're, you're, you found out your aunt, well, I don't know, people leave their relatives on the street all the time so I, maybe that's a bad example but you know what if it was somebody that you that you loved and that you felt you, you, you needed as part of your life well if you don't feel that way about everybody I, I don't know what to say now there's times where I go you know because I've, I've gone to people and I've said you know hey I love you and I've had people just straight laugh in my face when I said that <laughs> sometimes I wonder if if y'all if humanity is even worth saving um, but I love you and so that makes it worth <laughs> that makes it worth it but today I was sitting there you know what what can I do that would that would inspire you to have enough faith that oh it wasn't like the like the government's book called the Bible or the Quran or it was it wasn't like their the government's book told us that it was going to be it was the way God decided it was going to be because you know either you're going to have a lot of faith or you're going to have you know <laughs> really no faith because <laughs> if you have a faith then you know if your faith is that somebody's going to come you know flying out of the sky like some kind of superman thing 
I haven't learned how to do that, and so if that's what you're you're waiting for, I think you're not going to get it. Um, um, what I was, my past lives and stuff that, that I can't remember. The only thing I can remember is what heaven is. Um, you know, family and and um, and, and what I what I am, and and. So I was saying, I was saying, how do I get them to have faith? Do I have to talk, you know, like Jesus, or can I, can I talk like me? Can I be me? Um, actually, I didn't think about that so much today. What I was thinking about today is, what could I do? You know, is there some kind of miracle I can do? Um, because that's what people expect. They expect, you know, miracles. But miracles happen from people working together. You know, sometimes things happen you know where we go wow what a miracle you know where um, I don't know somebody just different things and, and people go what a miracle and a lot of times it's coincidence or accident or you know something like that and people go oh that, that, that was a miracle and those are miracles or miracles <laughs> it's a miracle that 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 happened but um, the, the miracle that I can do is um, is only happens after you have faith. And then I thought, you know, you've, you've told them. And that's really the best you, you can do, is you can, you can tell them who you are, you can tell them what you're supposed to do. And after that, they either have the faith or they don't. And so I guess that's kind of it. Um, I don't want you to think that I'm here depressed, you know, if, if y'all just don't have faith, I, I, I won't blame you for not having faith. Because you've been, you've been told a lot of different things about what the God of love is supposed to be. I can't blame you for, for not having faith. Um, and if you don't, um, I've got, you know, food enough for, you know, four or five days. I think I've got about four or five days of water um, and uh, you know I, I put me in jail, jail they put me in jail one time uh, the government the the the, the, the vengeful uh, Vengeance is mine, uh, Lord God, uh, called the government, um, uh, put me in, in jail one time. Put me in jail. Uh, this was in 2010 or something. Anyways, I found a phone on the side of the road and they, well, I don't need to talk about that story. <laughs> I mean, what? Um, I mean, if you don't think Jesus was a, well, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm, you have your own beliefs as far as that's concerned. I can't, you know. But I'm, 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 all I can do is ask you to have faith. I can't, I can't force you to have faith, and I sure can't prove it because I grew up in a world that, that y'all have made, and um, not really much I can do. Uh, well, the, well, there is, but <laughs> with everybody's faith, um, they they put me in in jail, and um, I didn't eat for you know, several days. You know, so it, that has to happen. Um, now, you know, it could have been emotions and anxiety and, and uh, fear and uncertainty and all that stuff that made me not feel the hunger, but, you know, uh, there's a lot worse places to die, right? I could, I could, um, I could be in hell that government, you know, creates when they send people to war and kill each other and do bad things to each other. Um, this is, um, this is not such a bad place if I have to die here. It's not such a bad place. Um, I 
and I won't, I won't hold that against you. The kind of the things that I'm upset with you about is, you know, um, thinking about each other is not part of your family. Um, uh, you know, I'm not saying you have to think about them as your best friend or something like that, but you ought to think about them as part of your human family. And if you have a belief that, you know, that everybody was created in, in, in some pre-existence life, um, and then our spirits came and inhabited, uh, uh, inhabited, right? <laughs> Habits. <laughs> uh, it, and, and inhabited the human uh, bodies or whatever, um, then you have to say then uh, those were all, everybody that's living on earth right now is about the people that chose to be on God's side. And if you're not going to be a part of that family, I don't know what to say about that except for I, I, that I feel very... Um, being mean, you know, like um, I spanked my son one time, and that was a terrible, terrible, terrible thing to do. Um, and I, I did it to satisfy a woman, and that was, <laughs> you know, I feel very bad about that. But uh, not that I'm a bad person, because I'm not a bad person. But I've had people that were bad people um, be very, very, very bad to me. Um, purposely and in, in, with, the, they laughed about it. You know, they, they beat me up naked in the shower and laughed about it. And they were people that worked for the government. So, well, yeah, <laughs> people like that, uh, I've got some things for that. Now, I keep saying about my life, I kept thinking that the end of this physical life, I wasn't even thinking it was going to be the end of this physical life. I was thinking it was just going to be, I was thinking it was going to be, actually, I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought it was going to be years ago that uh, that my life was going to be kind of like the end of Never Ending Story, where um, Sebastian was able to get back at the people that that were mean to him, but he did it in such a way that didn't actually hurt them. It was just kind of well, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. And so I thought the I thought you know, hey, that's the way it's going to be for me. But I think that the way that's going to end up happening is uh, is. After I die, after you die, um, and, and then <laughs> I'm gonna be there. <laughs> and and there's some people that uh, that uh, not that I don't forgive because I I, I forgive, um, but I think um, they, they <laughs> I think. Sometimes people have to learn lessons, and, and I would, you know, I want to, you know, do that in a way that's not harmful or hurtful or um, stuff like that. But kind of like the end of the never-ending story. Maybe. <laughs> uh, why? Because revenge is not. So much. I mean, I have moments where I feel like, oh man, I, wow. <laughs> I have those moments, but they don't last very long because, because I love you, and that's what I am. So, I'm gonna try and get this uh, video uh, up tonight. Tomorrow maybe I'll have a maybe I'll have another video for you tomorrow. But um, uh, I love you. Yeah. yeah and um, you know, here's just a uh, thought for you. You know, I'm wondering about the validity of the scriptures and stuff. And one time they talked about how God cast a pillar of fire down and then parted the, the Red Sea and soldiers went and chased those people after them. Now, <laughs> you really had to think about this. Now, if that happened today, and people weren't any stupider back then than they are today, um, but if that happened today, and a big pillar of fire, and then somebody parted the Red Sea and let some people go across it, and then another army would say, um, Sure, yeah, we'll go chase after them right through the middle of the part of the Red Sea. After they just seen a pillar of fire come 
down from the sky. They've seen the Red Sea part. They know that it's God doing it. And then they, they chase after him. Does that story sound actually true? It's <laughs> believable or what? You know, does it? <laughs> if it were you, if you were part of the army chasing them, and you just seen a pillar of fire come down from the sky, protect people from... Um, God protecting people from, from your army, and then the, the, the Red Sea parts, and they get to go. Are you, you going to go? F <laughs> are you, are you going to be part of the army that goes? I, I think that. I can think about things that actually could be true. Because why would God want to not live with his family? I said, there's days in this life where I wish I didn't live at all because the experience of this life has not been my favorite experience ever. Um, not that I am not appreciative of some of the things of some of the experiences and, and times I've had with family and friends and, and that, um, that I've had some, some great times. And during the past <laughs> 10 or 15 years I've been there. But, but that's okay. I love you, and um, yeah. yeah, love you. Makes me nervous to post this video because uh, I could be uh, scoffed at or laughed at or stuff like that. <laughs> but that's what the Romans do, um, and um, that's what, as far as I can tell, everybody is in the United States is. Uh, well, not everybody, but you know, it's a it's a Roman state, so. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and post this video because it has to be done sometime, right? Sometime everybody has to say, you know, this is who I am, and or this is what I am, right? <laughs> and this is what I am.